Hello Internet, welcome to a new series. We're going to be checking out Songs of Six. This is an early access game. It's available on Steam. It's also on itch.io, which if I had known that, I would have bought it there because it would have been DRM free. You know, I'm a fan of, well, not a fan of DRM. So this is a city builder style game with very minimal graphics. And I've heard people describe this with very pleasant terms. They've talked very positively about this game. A lot of people make the comparison to Dwarf Fortress, which is something my viewers ask me to play on a pretty daily basis. So I thought we would check this out. I have no idea if it's good or not. The reviews are generally positive. And yeah, we're going to jump into the tutorial here to start for the first probably couple of episodes. And then we are going to probably, if I like the game, we're going to create our, our new colony here. All right, so tutorial. I did play about uh, two minutes of this game just to make sure that it records okay, which, spoiler alert, the graphics are so minimal, it should be just fine. And we're going to jump into the tutorial here. You have arrived on a new and promising land, but can you tame it and prove yourself a worthy king? I wonder. In the end, you'll have to explore the game yourself, but work is underway to improve this tutorial. Flesh out the in-game wiki. Uh, reach through the question mark in the top right. Okay. At your disposal are a few building materials and food. Make good use of them. This is also the center of your city, the throne. There's still time to reap a harvest this year. Your immediate objective is to build a vegetable farm. You'll find the farms in the bottom panel room menu. Try building them near the water where fertility is high. Build an 8x8 vegetable farm. You can read this message and all further messages in the upper right message button. We'll figure that out later. May the gods bless your cause, O oh great one. Thank you. I mean, any game that flatters my ego and calls me the king and, and all that, it's pretty great. Go away, please. Oh, click the X? Yes. Okay, uh, let's pause, which is uh, one, apparently. So let's have a look at the game. First of all, the world map is huge. Um, I did notice that when I was just checking things out. And the further we zoom out, the harder things are. I notice it doesn't seem to zoom on your cursor, so it can be a little bit tricky to reorient yourself here. And oh, and for the record, this is again an early access game. I am someone who points out flaws a lot. So if we're playing this game and I say, oh, that's bad, poorly worded English, or this should be more clear, things like that. I want to be clear, I'm not trashing the game. That is just who I am. I just tend to talk about those things. So our first goal is to build a farm near the water. Eight by eight, it said. So building a room, I'm guessing you're the hammer? No. Food? No. Agriculture. Vegetable farm. Grows vegetables. Shocking. So let's click that. Build near the water, they said. Eight by eight. Okay. I mean, I don't know how close to the water it needs to be, but let's just uh, bang out an eight by eight here. My brain is not working because I'm going left instead of right. Uh, so we'll make an eight by eight tile. Uh, is that it? Fertility 98%, which is good, I assume. One farmer will be needed, and it will output an estimate of an estimate of how much this farm will output if well worked during a year, not including bonuses or irrigation. So it only produces 29 year, units in a year. How long is a year? Zero of spring and year zero of the first age. Time 455. Okay. Uh... How do I, what is this? Expand, shape, I'll click, is this a check mark? Construct. So we'll unpause and we'll presumably see our little people here go and can, no, they're gonna lay in the grass. Of course, that is naturally what you would do. Snowing in springtime, uh, that overlay is gonna destroy the bitrate of this video. Sorry if everything gets blurry when that happens. I wonder if there's a way to disable that. Are you a settings menu? You're not, okay, let's try, uh, Checking our settings here. Options. Particles. Bring it on. No, let's reduce that so that we can have a clearer video here. Anything else? Everything else should be good. Good time to mention the uh, audio may be a little bit out of whack. I have to, you know, it's a new game. It'll take me a bit to balance the audio in these recordings. Look at them go. So they appear to be tilling the soil. I assume this will be nice and quick. Let's speed up time a bit. Look at them go. Okay, so it looks like we are about constructed. The edges are a little ragged here. Uh, so is this a farm now? Constructed. Degrade 0%. Materials. Construction progress is 0. Why is it 0? What is this? A vegetable. Oh, I see. So they need to put 7 vegetables into this before it can be constructed. I see. So building the thing required 
vegetables in order to start. That makes sense. You know, you have to seed a farm, presumably. Oh, look, and they're getting a little crop symbols, like a, like waves of grain, which is a bit strange for a vegetable thing. All right, very good. That farm will serve us well. You can read more about how farms work in the encyclopedia. To complement the farm, let's build a hunter this time. Don't make it too big as your construction materials are limited. Okay, um, so presumably a ferocious four-legged mammal, an entelodont, can both feed a family for several days as well as inspire fear in the hearts of hunters. Their thick hides can blunt the impact of any hunting weapon if not used with enough strength, while its ferocity and fearlessness often lead to the lead the hunters of these creatures to at best lose their pride and at worst their lives. So presumably it's dangerous to hunt you. Are there other animals nearby? What are you? Same thing? Okay. Oop, didn't mean to zoom out. What are these mounds I'm seeing? They kind of look like piles of leaves. Oh, are, are these trees? I can't click them. Okay, we'll figure that out, I guess. It kind of looks like, I don't know, hay piles or something. Or like after you've raked the lawn of leaves. So we need to build a hunter. All right, and it said make it small. So let's see. So is this um insuff insufficient workers allocated? How do I... Do I click you? Oh my god, look at their faces. Are these tusks or are those just like face flaps? What's your deal, man? Kragoth Dice, is that your name? Oh, tons of information. That's really interesting. Um, So I did hear that this game had quite a lot of depth to it. So we'll have to uh, learn apparently quite a lot of things. So how do I make you? Do I click? No. Do I left click? No. How do I make you work on my farm? Also, why are there vegetables everywhere? Vegetables, fertility. Okay, click the farm. Employee zero of one. Do I... Oh, okay, oh, so maybe they auto assign? Expand room, no. Okay, let's just focus on the hunter, I suppose. So I'm assuming we should probably build this near like the forest or near the other animals, I assume, maybe down here close to the animals. I'd like to keep the water for farmland. Although this is the tutorial, we probably won't play very long. Let's just do it. Let's build a hunter. Where would a hunter be? Food? No. Sir, uh, infrastructure? No. Ex uh, agriculture? Yes. Hunter. Make it small, they said. Okay. So let's just make like a little hut. Like a three by three. And we'll just make that. Anything else? Doors? I guess we need doors. Can I just construct? Will it automatically... Room has insufficient workbench items. Workbench where subjects work. Oh, it's too big. Oh, we need to expand the room. Expand room. One one more tile. Oh, geez. Okay. <laughs> Can I shrink, shrink the room? Can I remove? Okay. So that should be big enough for the workbench. Click. Must be placed inside. Okay, check. Room will be blocked, place doorways. Okay, so we have to place doors manually. We'll just put one door up front. Is that it? Okay, and then presumably they will construct that. What do you need to construct? No, what? No, don't, don't reconstruct. Zero of 17 wood, so we need wood. They said we had, are you wood? You are wood. Okay, so we have enough wood to build this. So we'll speed up time again. I'm going to keep an eye on this farm. I want to see if someone is auto-assigned. Yes, so you are now a vegetable farmer. What does this do? Subject's place of work. You weigh 87. I'm going to assume that's kilo... Oh, it's stones. Good God, you're huge. Wait a minute. Isn't a stone 12 pounds? It's been a long time. So the only time... So stones is a unit of measurement, in case anyone doesn't know that. Um, I The only time I've ever seen stones as a unit of measurement was in... EverQuest didn't old versions of D&D also use stones as a measurement, but I think it's like 12 pounds So this guy's like eight like 900 pounds Seven foot seven. Oh, you're and you you measure your height in cubits really okay. Well, whatever I really would prefer if they were imperial measurements, but that's fine Everyone is going to the farm. Why are you going to the farm? Are you carrying something? walking to job site are you carrying, oh, you're carrying wood. Why was there wood at the farm? Okay, doesn't matter. Let's speed this up and watch our little hunter get constructed. I'm not gonna lie, the graphics are 
a little hideous uh, during the construction process. This looks absolutely terrible. I'm gonna assume once it's finished. Why are you boys standing around? It's leisure time. Um, is there some sort of RimWorld-esque thing where I can set their schedules? World, battle, capital, messages. No. Status. Sure. We are a squire level leader. Our bonuses. 5% bonus to farming. Super exciting. Visuals. Arcana. Okay, I have no idea what this is about. Let's just speed up time. They'll get back to work eventually, I suppose. Just like RimWorld, they guess, I guess they need some leisure time, which is totally fine. Maybe we can make them a horseshoe pit. Um, no, but the obvious comparison to RimWorld is just because uh, RimWorld is a very mainstream game. It's particularly popular at the time of this recording. Their new DLC just came out. And I was going to play a little RimWorld, but I thought I would try something new and fresh. Almost everything in this game requires maintenance in the form of labor and resources. Without it, structures will decay and lose their efficiency. Loose their efficiency. You misspelled lose. That is why it's time to build a janitor. Build a janitor. Okay. I feel like you don't build janitors. I feel like you uh, create them from population, but okay. So I'm assuming we're building... You're probably service. Not service. Infrastructure. Janitor, yes. Janitor. Oh, and it's a pre-built uh, shape. I'm going to assume this needs to be like in close proximity to our other buildings so that they kind of like if you ever played um, like Caesar 3 or any of those games where you have to have an engineer that walks the pathways to go by the buildings to verify that they are still maintained. Can I rotate you? Is there a hotkey? Yes. Okay. Why don't we... Because um, I'm trying to think, you know, again, we're probably not going to play this colony terribly long. But I'm always thinking in terms of pathways, so like I want it to be like roads connecting them, but I also would not build a janitor right next to my throne room, so I find that a bit strange. So let's just put, not near the water, because again we want that fertile land, so we'll just plop it down over here, I think we'll be fine. Do I... no, auto build walls around a room, Didn't doesn't it do that? Yeah, your walls, and you have a door. I'm going to assume that that's fine, and we're just going to speed up time here and let them go about their business. We'll try to find a zoom level that's satisfactory. I'm not going to lie, the ground clutter kind of bothers my eyes. These things are, in fact, moving. I got to assume these are trees. I don't really know. I can't click on any of them. Can we make them cut trees? Um, What is this? Yes, fell tree. Are you a tree? You are a tree. Okay. So, okay. So now we know we can get wood from the surrounding areas. I don't know how much we have. Oh, we're very low on wood. I think we need wood. Okay. Well, that's great. We'll just uh, highlight a bunch of trees. I have no idea how much wood you get from each tree. So we'll just do that and send them about their business. It looks like each tile is worth one. So these smaller trees would be worth four wood total. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Uh, and it's closer to our build site, so hopefully that speeds up our, our progress a bit. I have no idea. Oh, time is passing. We're on day two, 1,700 hours. I kind of wish, and again, I hate to make the comparisons to RimWorld. I'm trying to uh, respect this game and let it stand on its own, but I kind of wish, like RimWorld, it had my season and time displayed on screen at all times. I don't like having to hover to see what the time is and all of that stuff. So I would prefer having that actually like popped up in a corner at all times or an option to enable that. Again, early access game. And again, my complaints are not to be taken as me saying this is a bad game. That's not what I'm saying. People often misunderstand me because I am a complainer. So this janitor, what's your deal? What is this stuff? Oh, I can't look at it yet. Very good. In order to, in order for our resources not to spoil, we need to build a warehouse. Build a warehouse with at least eight crates. Okay, well, I want to look at this first. What is this stuff? Insufficient workers allocated. Well, you're going to auto do that for me, right? What is this? Okay. Hmm, so is this just decoration? I don't think this has any purpose or I'd be able to click on it. Oh, are you a jan janitor? No, you're just sleeping indoors. Well, I don't blame you. Everyone else is sleeping in the dirt, I guess. So you can't double click to see the total wood you have. 
which is uh, a bummer. Again, <laughs> the RimWorld comparison. So let's build a warehouse. Warehouse would be infrastructure. Yes, warehouse. We need enough for eight crates. How big are the crates is the first thing. Two tiles, okay. So eight crates, two tiles each. And let's build it. Where are our resources? What is this brown? Is this stone? Oh no, I thought there would be rocks there. There's some up here as well. Zoom in on this. Are you stone? What else would you be? I thought it would be like a mountain. What is this brown stuff? I, I don't know what anything is, internet. You gotta bear with me a little bit. Whatever, we'll, instead of, again, tutorial, we don't care, it doesn't matter. Let's just build the warehouse in really any position we want, doesn't matter. Normally, obviously, if you were doing like a permanent settlement, you would make it so that you were building this near your resources and where you're gonna be building. Um, like easy access so that you could easily get your resources put in here. So this should be large enough. Oh, are there no walls around it? Okay, so it auto built walls. Okay, okay. Do we need crates? Um, I think, oh, I hear them snoring. I think this is a crate and then the rectangle is like where they would stand to interact with it. So if I try to put one over it, must not cut off part of the room, okay. So we'll just put, may not block other item. What are you blocking? What What is being blocked by this? Okay, I don't, I don't know. See, this one we can put right next to it. Maybe it has to be staggered every other like that. Okay, but obviously a lot of crates. Um, probably more than we need based on what we were told to do because we were told to make eight. And we've made, I don't know, can't do math, 12 I think. We'll just call that as good. And we'll put doors at both ends. That way they have easy access in and out of the room. In fact, all four doors. You're gonna need 120, 120 wood. Okay, well, we're gonna need to be felling some trees. Is there a faster way to do this? Structures, fences, no. Fell trees, does it have to be by hand? Like, um, do I have to manually select trees every time? Immigration, your little villagers are now enjoying their stay to a degree that they would recommend it to friends. Immigration will spawn when your happiness is over a certain degree. You can have a look at what factors that make up your happiness by clicking the citizen button in the top right. I don't see anything that looks like a citizen button. We'll figure that out. All right, we'll give you an idea of how to progress later on. To accept the new immigrants, you do so in the citizen panel, select species, population, or by double clicking the species in the panel to the right. Oh, these? These here? We'll have to look at that. Uh, do, 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 do. Be careful not to accept too many at once or they will eat all of our food. Okay, so before we do that, let's have a look, for, pause the game. Let's have a look at our hunter. Are you working? What's, how's this going? No storage for produce, meat, leather, eggs, or cotton. So I'm gonna assume once we build the warehouse, there will be storage for that. So I think our food is actually in a tight spot because we can't, the farm obviously is not gonna produce as much food as hunting for meat would. I'm, I gotta assume we need that warehouse, but we also need a lot of trees. So first let's address our tree problem, fell trees, and we'll just mark a huge swath here for them to do that um, because a lot of people I think are still unemployed so they should go do that pretty much immediately. The citizen panel in the top right. So I, I see that you are citizens and it says double click to accept them. Cretonians excel at farming and thrive in temperate and warm climates, preferably close to water. They are vegetarians. So why did I build a hunter if all my people are vegetarians? <laughs> That's a bummer, okay. So we need more farms, I think, is what that means. Um, huh, we have zero immigrants, then what does the plus four mean? We have 10 population, zero immigrants, happiness 100%. So if I double click you, we now have four immigrants. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't really mean to accept four new people. That is uh, possibly going to be a problem. And we have three more that wanna em emigrate. Humans, the last creation of the gods, excel at intelligent jobs and are decent farmers. So, if you're, okay, if you are vegetarians, I want to build another farm. 
We're going to build another veggie farm. And we'll put it also near the water. So we'll just go one tile away and make another 8x8. But we can't because of the water kind of overlapping. Will it auto place anyway? It will. So let's just set that up so that we can get more veggies coming in since they refuse to eat the meat from our hunter. Seems like an odd choice for the tutorial if you know that they're vegetarians, but okay. And then it says about we can see happiness in the civilian option population. No. This maybe? Citizens? Okay, happiness. Uh, do we see a breakdown of their happiness? Environment. They love their environment. Something about afterlife? Death causes and death-related services. Do I have to, like, have funerals and stuff? That's pretty interesting. Uh, and their food, they're not very happy. Or with their work. I, I don't... Is this happiness? Or is this the only happiness bar? Is this just how they're doing? Okay, we'll figure it out later. Let's uh, continue constructing. So we, we set up quite a lot for them to do. So we'll just let them kind of work their way through this. Looks like we're approaching summer. We are in in summer. Okay. So years in this seem to pass very quickly. It was only like four days of spring, I believe, before we hit summer. What is this? Cadavers? What is this about? Who poisoned our water with corpses? Who did this? Also, they're swimming. With, oh, you're skinny dipping? I mean, you appear to be fully clothed, but I, I will allow it. Oh, zooming out, you look naked. Although that's tiny. So that too, for mobile users, sorry, I, I didn't see any way to scale up the UI. So this might be a little tricky to see some of the small things that I'm seeing. But anyway, let's speed things up. We'll let them cut down trees. We'll let them build our warehouse. And of course, we'll get that extra farm up and running. I wonder how long the tutorial is. We're about 20 minutes in. I, I thought it might be like an episode or two of the tutorial, but we'll see how it goes. Okay. So it looks like they construct in stages because they did this for the farm as well. If we look down here, oh, it's already constructed. So the first thing they seem to do is build this dirt kind of foundation. I'm assuming they're clearing the brush and like tamping down the soil. And then they bring the raw materials and then they build the actual location. So if you look here at the very bottom, oh, in fact, it says cleared. So they're clearing the land. And then after that, the construction progress will start to tick up. So it's really interesting to do it that way. That makes sense. Um, obviously, it's a little more in depth than something like RimWorld. And I keep making those RimWorld comparisons. I have not played Dwarf Fortress. That is the number one thing people talk about when, uh, when they talk about games like this. I just can't get past the graphical limitations of Dwarf Fortress enough to actually play the game. I know it's supposed to be fantastic. It's something my audience, uh, you know, is very, has always loved and encouraged me to play. I just can't get past that mental hurdle. In fact, for Dwarf Fortress, I'm waiting for the Steam release because it's going to come with a fancy tile set. And that is the, the main thing keeping me from playing, which I know is, is terrible. You know, I, I like retro games. I should be a little bit more understanding when it comes to that sort of stuff. Why are you bringing stones? I didn't realize I needed stones. How many do we have? Oh, these are rations? Okay. We have 30 stone left. We need to find stone. We figured out wood. In fact, let's just go to uh, clear rock. And let's just paint where we think stone might be. Like this brown stuff? Is this brown stuff stone? Oh. Are you stone? You are stone. But what is this over here? This isn't stone. It's very difficult to make out differences in the tile. Like this is blue, which means there is stone here. And that it can be placed here as part of a job. And if we go here, you'll see it says it must be placed on rock. But you can't actually tell a difference between these two tiles. Maybe this little brown spherical thing maybe that is stone but then up here they're gray or maybe they are brown and it's the illumination from my pointer that is doing that maybe they are gray no it's clearly like brown okay it doesn't matter let's just paint the terrain here to get them to harvest some stone i don't think we need as that much stone so we'll just mark that as well so we can get a little stone coming into our storage 
<sighs> and we'll wait for them to progress here. We almost have all the materials we need for them to begin construction. It looks like all materials need to be delivered before they can start working. So there's no way to partially work on a building. Um, like they could obviously, you know, we're like 90% of the way there with materials. You would think that would mean they would be able to construct 90% of the building, but it doesn't look like it works that way. So we will just have them continue delivering things. Please bring wood. Please, there's so much wood right here. I want to finish this. I want to know. I want to know. I want to do something with this meat, which again is pointless because all we have are vegetarians. And I don't know how to see. Is there a way to see our food consumption versus the food we're bringing in? Slaves? Absolutely not. Soldiers, treasury, goods. Okay. Let's look at vegetables. Produced minus 14. Okay, can I see the rate at which we are consuming them? Eight days ago, we constructed with seven. So we've only spent 14 to construct both of our buildings. But I'm assuming our characters are eating them because what else would they be eating? Um, looks like meat was consumed. But it said you were vegetarians. Fruit is also being consumed. So it looks like they're eating fruit. Do we have, we have fruit? We do have fruit. So it looks like they're not eating vegetables. They're eating fruits. I don't know. There doesn't seem to be any clear graph for consumption versus production. So I don't know what to make of that. But all right, maybe in the tutorial, maybe we don't even really eat. Maybe it's just one of those things where it's being super nice and our rate of consumption is completely different. Who knows? Okay, so they're building crates. Um, they do look different from one another. That's cool that they have variable sprites and it's not always the exact same clutter. Very good. Now you can designate the amount of crates for your resources laying about. I suggest some for vegetables, meat, wood, and stone. Allocate at least one crate to each. Okay. So, presumably we click this. Oh, God. Um... So they don't seem to be in any particular order. There's wood. Make a crate for wood. Or vegetables. Meat. And are you stone? You are stone. So we'll do that. Excellent. Free workers will store resources laying about, but it's far better to allocate a delivery man to this work. Um, click the new warehouse and slide the worker slide to 1.R%. Allocate a delivery man. Uh-huh. So that's this. 1%. Okay. So that'll do. Now you've got the basics set up for a self-sustaining village. To proceed, I recommend reading the encyclopedia. Don't forget to always allocate 30 to 50% of your workforce towards food production, and you should be relatively fine. <sighs> okay, uh, I mean, we have many more crates. So let's, um, we saw meat was produced in a lot of numbers. So let's bump up meat and veggies. And then of course, wood, I think is gonna be the main thing. How many crates do we have? We have four more crates. Let's just go with that. Oh, wait a minute. Are you producing leather? No storage for leather. I bet you do, though, if I enabled this. How do I? Where's leather? This is leather. So we'll add one of those. And it says fetch. If toggled, they will fetch the resource from other stockpiles that have not been enabled for fetching. Okay, I don't think we need that. So that should mean a guy is going to go out and gather up all this wood and bring it back to these crates. So that's interesting. You're skinny dipping in the middle of the night together. I mean, no judgment. Nebby and Jahane. Hopefully you two are having a good time out there. Let's, um... Why don't we look at pathing? Curious if I can make paths. Infrastructure? Monument? No. Um... No paths. Fences? Oh, roads. Dirt road requires no resources, but a bit more maintenance. Stone, dire, instills dread amongst your subjects. What? And fancy. Now let's go with a dirt road. Oh, oh, it shows the paths that the AI is taking. That's really interesting. Okay. Uh, well, let's build up from the farms. I don't know if they'll path intelligently to the dirt path that I lay out, but let's assume that they do. So let's build one up to this building. 
and we'll build one over to, oh, it doesn't work that way. So you can't go on a diagonal, unfortunately. In fact, so let's, how do I erase this? Roads? No, 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 stop, everybody stop. How do I undo this? <laughs> okay, click it. Can't click it. What is this? Is this clear? Remove. Can only be placed on structures. Delete room. Can't delete it. Delete jobs. Okay. <laughs> so just learning, feeling things out. Dirt road. We've already built one up to this thing. I don't know where the door is exactly, so that'll do. In fact, let's just build along the wall here. Oh, this path already exists here. Okay, so that's fine. And we'll build over to the hunter cabin so they have a way to walk over there. Uh, you are the janitor, so we'll put that there. And we'll come over, we'll put a path here, we'll put a path to this door as well. And I think that will do for now. I don't think we're gonna build, you know, a triple path or whatever. I mean, I guess it doesn't cost us anything really. It gives them something to do. So we can put a path. We could just do a path all the way around the building. We'll do that with two access points. This is a bit redundant. I don't like that. We're gonna get rid of that. Just because I, I think that will look bad. I think that'll do for now. Um, they said to allocate a large percentage of our workforce towards, oh, if I right click, it shows what's there. Ripe vegetables, fruit, what is this? Cotton, okay. More vegetables, wild grain. So there's quite a lot here. I thought, I was a little nervous when I saw we could only build fruit and, oh, there is a grain farm and a cotton farm, okay. Hmm, I think we would need more farms. I'm not sure what my current goal is in the game. What am I doing? Nothing. So now I just have a little bit of free reign. Uh, you know, we're at about 30 minutes. Why don't we just call the episode here? Maybe we'll do one more. Maybe we should just dive into a colony. I'll decide what we're going to do in between episodes. For now, you have seen a little bit of the game. I know it doesn't look terribly impressive, but I think once we get a full-on colony up and running, I bet it's actually a pretty cool little game here. So we're going to figure things out. It did say to read the encyclopedia. Oh my god, which is so much. Also, you misspelled tome. Tome is with an E, not a B. This is the tomb of knowledge. Um, I'm not going to read all this stuff. Maybe we would read as we go. Cannibals. Cannibals butcher humanoid corpses for meat and resources. Having them can detriment... Having them can detriment your reputation. Okay. Should not... This is bad English. Uh, but some species actually prefer humanoid meat. I mean, I prefer humanoid meat, but I just can't get it. Uh, yeah, there's a whole whole thing. All right, so I think we're going to call the episode here. For now, everybody, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the game. The game is available, again, on Steam and itch.io if you are interested. It is a smidge pricey. Um, I'm not sure I like it enough to recommend it for its current price point. But again, the reviews for this game are overwhelmingly positive. So I would encourage you to check it out if it seems like something you're interested in. And we will be playing at least a few more episodes in the near future. So for now, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button on your way out and I will see you in the next video.